You're watching Hot Walk Academy. My name is Ming Jin Tong. I want to help you master your kitchen. Let's cook. First thing we want to do is for any vegetable is we want to wash it out. Okay, so these vegetables have already been, uh, been washed out and dried. So the asparagus, uh, obviously the end gets a little bit woody. So you do want to trim it off. I like to just kind of uh, get whatever product I'm able to in one hand, line that up along the end. And I don't want to cut off too much, maybe about half an inch just to remove that woody uh, part of the vegetable. The very next thing that's important to remember is that when you cut your vegetables and we put it in that stir fry, as we are tossing our wok, each piece of the vegetable needs to be about the same size. Why is that? That's to promote even cooking as well as even tossing. So as you cut your veggies, remember you want them to be roughly the same size. Okay, so here are the asparagus. We're gonna move on next to the garlic. Now the garlic is very important in our uh, non-leafy vegetable stir fry. And the garlic is what we use to flavor the oil. The step we call bao xiang in Taiwanese cooking. So this is how we're gonna prep it. Uh, we are gonna use probably about uh, three cloves of garlic, okay? So this is the head. We're gonna just break this right in half and get rid of uh, some of this paper. Again, we'll compost that a little bit later. Get another piece out here. Here's what we want to do. I want I like to break these uh, garlic apart into the individual cloves. I'm not going to worry about the paper or the stems a little too much. And I've got, I'm going to get about six of these cloves out here. Okay. What you want to do is take the broad side of your knife and isolate one garlic clove and you just want to gently pat it down and to break it apart. When you do that, what happens is that the, pa the paper, the outside separates very easily and that's about the right size there. So again, just give it a pat. You don't need to do it too hard. If you do it too hard, your garlic, especially if it's fresh, is going to kind of splatter everywhere. You don't necessarily want to do that. And here we go. We're going to peel each one. Again, just grab it from the front and that peels off super nicely. And this garlic, yes, you can definitely eat it. However, uh, and I hope this doesn't make you sad, uh, we sometimes don't actually eat the garlic that we use to flavor our oil. Um, but I'll leave that up to you. You can do what you like. Okay, I'm gonna isolate again my product and just get that off my board. We are gonna compost all that later. Now, one other thing to mention is that the uh, stem or excuse me, the root part of the garlic is a little bit tough. If you are going to eat that, I would encourage you to cut that off and again, get rid of that compost those parts. Now for sizing, it's also very important to make sure that your garlic is the right size. So this is the size of the garlic that I have right now and it's smashed, which means the inside, especially the juice is exposed. And that's a really good thing. We want that. However, keep in mind the bottom of your wok where your oil is, is only going to be so full of oil. And in order to make sure you have maximum contact between the hot oil and the garlic, I want to make sure that that garlic is actually flat enough. So I'm just going to give it another pat just to make sure that when it's at the bottom of my wok, it's actually sitting firmly in the no oil and not above the oil. Okay. That's about good. Let's go ahead and put that into our prep bowl and we are ready to head over to the stove. So here we go. First step is to turn our fire on and we're going to let that go only to um, kind of a low heat. Now here's why. When you add your garlic to the oil, you don't want your garlic to burn. Garlic burns very easily in oil. So how much oil? Let's do our Let's do asparagus first. So with this much asparagus, which is, uh, I probably have about half a pound to three quarters of a pound of asparagus there. I want enough oil 
to coat the bottom of my pan. Now, again, when you ask, how much oil do you put? You need to ask the question, what is the oil for? Here's what we have oil for. Oil promotes movement in the pan, so when you move the product, it's able to slide around. Secondly, oil is gonna be cooking the food. The oil gets very hot before it evaporates into smoke, over 400 degrees. That's gonna help cook the outside of the food. And the last thing is the oil will create a vapor. And that oil vapor, as it ignites, will impart that wok hei, that guo qi, that smoky element to your stir fry. So I don't want my fire too hot. I can already see the smoke rising. That means it's a little bit too warm. Let's test that out. We're gonna throw some garlic in there. And look at that. It's already, it's already sizzling. Now, that particular sizzle is a good amount of sizzle. You want that um, garlic to begin to brown and begin to sizzle, but you don't want it to burn, okay? And already that smell is starting to come out. And I've got my fire just on low here. I'm gonna continue to allow my garlic to cook in that oil. Again, I want to give flavor to the oil, but I don't wanna burn the garlic. Burned garlic is very, very bitter. Here's my wok ladle. I'm gonna turn that around so you can kind of see what has happened to the garlic. What a beautiful color there. Uh, that you do want to see that. And you notice how low my heat is for now. Uh, I remember doing this with my auntie who has taught me many things about wok cooking. And she said, hey, let the garlic go a little bit longer. You want that garlic flavor to get into your oil so it's pervasive in your dish. You can let it go, just don't burn it. It's okay, take your time. All right, a little bit more here and we're gonna remove that garlic. The reason I'm gonna remove the garlic is because I want my oil to get very hot. I am gonna put this garlic back in, but for now, I'm gonna turn my fire as hot as it goes. I actually have my uh, thermo gun here and this is a tool I highly recommend that you invest some money in. This tool will help you to understand exactly how hot your surfaces are. So if you wanna do a nice over easy egg, but without any crisp, you're gonna to want to aim for about 200, 220 degrees. And when you're doing stir fry, you notice the smoke is starting to come up. What's happening is that the oil, vegetable oil in this case, has reached its smoke point. Is that hot enough to cook your vegetables? Not yet. I like to get my wok to about 700 degrees. The only way to know that is if we measure. So here we go. Let's shoot our infrared thermometer in and that is reading at 618 degrees. And we're just gonna wait for it to get a little bit hotter. Let's test it again. I'll move my oil around just a bit. And it's now reading 600 and 647 degrees. And believe it or not, I actually want my wok just a little bit hotter. How do we get it hotter? You just set it on the fire and let that go, okay? Let's do one more test. All right, we are at 702 degrees. That's hot enough. Let's go ahead and start our stir fry. What we're gonna do is take our asparagus and this is nice and dry. It's not gonna splatter because there's no moisture in here. Take your time, don't rush. You can add a little bit of salt now to your dish. That nice sizzle, what's happening is the oil is cooking the outside of the asparagus and the inside of the asparagus, the vapor or the water vapor is starting to happen and it's gonna cook the inside. We wanna to toss it so that it cooks evenly and I wanna leave it so that the outside of the asparagus is char. This is a wok sear method for a non-leafy vegetable, okay? So the product now has been in the wok for about 25 seconds. It's gonna come out in another 25. This is a very quick cook method. Give it a toss so that your vegetables are cooking evenly. And I like my vegetables to hang out in that oil vapor. It imparts a great 
flavor for afterwards, okay? Give it a toss. Now, no one likes a mushy vegetable. By only cooking it a short time, the inside is still gonna be nice and crisp. The outside's gonna have a great char to it. And that's about one minute of cook time and really that is gonna be enough for you. Let's go ahead and plate that. All right, and there's your stir fried asparagus. Now, I admit, I forgot to put the garlic back in. I apologize. However, the garlic is in the oil. It's gonna have that great flavor. And let's try one of these pieces. It's gonna be super hot. Oh, that is so good. So nutty and salty. What a great flavor. Thanks so much for joining us. I hope you learned something. And again, this is not for your entertainment. Let's cook together. Invest in a wok. These are very cheap tools and begin to understand how to cook these items at home. We want to get that information, that knowledge embedded in our hands, that tossing rhythm embedded in our arms so we are cooking instinctively. Thanks so much.